roses are red, violets are blue. When the Z Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time, and it starts now. War of the Roses on a Tuesday. Yes, hooray! Better late than never. As we welcome Chloe to the show. Hello, Chloe. Hello. So, who are we putting to the test for you today? We are putting Matt to the test. Okay, and who is Matt? Okay, so Matt is the guy that I've been dating all summer, and I feel like summer is winding down now, and we're kind of approaching that kind of, like, commitment time. Like, it feels natural. So I just kind of want to make sure there's no surprises before I agree to, like, anything permanent. This sounds you know, like this sounds like the plot time. of Summer Love by Justin Timberlake. This just can't be Summer Love. So. <laughs> now you said you have a reason though to be a little careful with this guy, right? Because he was like a player when you first met him. Yeah, he was like dating three different girls when I first met him. <laughs> yeah. oh, One so the okay, other. so he yeah. was a player, but but since he met you, it's been just you two. Yeah, it's basically just been me. It's been me and him, and at this point, it's like neither one of us has really brought up the whole like relationship thing because everything's been kind of going so well and having like day-to-day fun so i just didn't want to jinx it you know yeah i I get it's kind of like when your pitcher's throwing a no hitter in the fifth inning nobody nobody mentions it because you don't want to jinx it i got you so all right well let's call him up and then we'll tell him he wants some free flowers to give to somebody here and then we'll see what he says um time for the two questions we ask every war the roses participant question one are you sure you want all of this on the air yes all right. And question two. How certain are you that when he gets these flowers to send to someone, he's going to pick you to send them to? Um, well, I'm pretty sure. But for me, this is just kind of like, I guess, reassuring myself. I've been kind of, you know, messed around with before. And yeah. Like, okay. Well, listen, let, let's give it. Matt a call here. Let's hope he does the right thing. Darling at random. Hello? Yes, can I speak to a Matt, please? This is Matt. Good morning, Matt. My name's Ashley, and I'm calling with the Visa Rewards Program. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I'm calling is to let you know that you are one of this month's winners of a free gift from Visa Rewards. So first of all, congratulations, and thanks for using Visa. Wow. Are you serious? (laughs) Yep, every month we draw a bunch of names from people who have Visa credit cards or debit cards. And this month your name was one of the winners. It's kind of funny when you called and you said that you were from Visa. I was about to say, I, I swear I just mailed in a payment. <laughs> no, 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 that's not, that's not our department. We're, we're the good news department. So would you like to hear about what you won? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, so this month's prize is a beautiful bouquet of red roses that we send to your home. But the reason I called you first is usually a lot of our winners who are men have been asking us to send the flowers to their wives or girlfriends instead as sort of a a surprise. So is that something you'd like us to do with yours or do you want us to send the flowers directly to you? Oh, no, 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 not to me. I, I don't need them. Uh, you can do the surprise thing if you want. So you guys will send them to somebody else like for me yep in fact we'll include a card that we can fill out for you as well you can leave a little message on it and it comes with the flowers we just need to know who you want us to send the flowers to and what you'd like for us to put on the card okay awesome perfect okay so let's start with the first and last name of the person you'd like us to send these beautiful roses to uh okay first name is dana d-a-n-a and the last name is ham h a n Okay, Dana, and what message would you want to put on the little card that comes with the flowers? Um, <laughs> okay, put down to donkey butt, even though we no longer celebrate our anniversary, you still deserve flowers from me, love, Matt. Okay, I, I don't think I've ever addressed flowers to someone named donkey butt before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that, that's my little nickname for. I have a question for you. Is there a reason you've been dating me all summer, but you still feel the need to send flowers to your ex instead of me? Oh, Hello. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Are you are you talking to me? Yes, Matt. I'm talking to you. This is Chloe. Chloe. 
Uh, how are you on the phone? Right <laughs> Wait, so, Chloe, Boy. Matt, let me jump in here. I'm going to explain this. Um, we're not really calling from Visa Rewards. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. Right now, you're on War of the Roses. Chloe actually called us because she wanted to put you to the test to see if you would pick her to give these flowers to. But instead, it looks like you chose your ex. Is there something going on between you and her? Between me and who? Between you and Dana. Is there something going on between you guys? I mean, not really. Have you been sleeping with her? Occasionally, yeah. But, I mean, you knew that was going on. No, I did not. I didn't know. Yes, you did. You knew I was still hanging out with her. You said you ran into her once in a while. I didn't know we had f***ing sex with her, okay? Well, yeah, that's kind of what happens when we run into each other. I mean, I, I can't believe you're acting like you didn't know about any of this. Because I didn't know about it, okay? So you've just been sleeping behind my back? Well, I mean, it's not behind your back. Chloe, I mean, you never asked about it. <laughs> so you honestly thought I wouldn't care that you were sleeping with your ex while we were going out. You thought I would give a shit. I mean, I, yeah, I thought you'd care. That's... That's why I didn't talk about it. Oh God. Oh God. Forget it. Just f-ing forget it, Matt. Go be with your ex. And you know what? Call me when you freaking grow up, dude. Okay? You are 28 years old. Like, stop this. Goodbye. This morning zoos. War of the Roses.